Alright guys, let's talk about that Fender player position base and that sunburst beautiful, beautiful buy. From my experience playing that bass, it was great. Great, great bass. Uh, very comfortable neck, maple neck. Um, you could really move around, put like a lot of punk rock music, which I obviously, you can tell from my videos, I obviously into like pop punk, skate punk, and all that type of stuff, so it's great for that. I mean, it's honestly great for really anything. A P bass, you can never go wrong with a P bass, so it's a great bass. Uh, they go for about 849. Uh, let me, I wrote down a few other details. Uh, let me just go into uh, my notes. They come with the Alco, Al Nico, uh, Al, Al Nico V split coil pickup pickups. Alright, uh, what else? Comes with, it's a modern C shaped neck. Um, 9.5 fingerboard radius. Um, it's got that standard open gear tuners for that rock solid tuning. Um, what else do we got? What else did I write down? Yeah, it's maple, obviously. Oh yeah, it's got 20, 20 medium jumbo frets. Yeah, it's got those player series Al Nico. Precision split single coil pickups, one volume and one master volume. Comes with their Fender NPS strings, and I do believe it comes with a gig bag, if I'm not mistaken or not. Um, only thing I didn't like about it was a little too, like, at times it was a little too thin for my liking, but still, still a great. Bass very very versatile, and obviously you could play anything on. But just turning around the knobs, it felt a little too thin. Um, I like more personally a rosewood like top on a bass or any guitar. That's just my preference, but it works works really well for this bass. But uh, yeah. That's all I really have to say, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon. Sick.